what do all the professional landscape companies have in common? They all apply the same herbicide to prevent weeds. And today, my friends, I'm about to share with you exactly what it is and how you can do it for a fraction of the cost. No. The best way to stop weeds in your lawn is to prevent them to begin with. Just like my old coach used to say, the best offense is a good defense. Wait, that doesn't say much about me considering I was old line. I'll leave. And how we do that is with a pre-emergent. And what that does is it creates a vapor barrier on the top layer of the soil, so it coats all the weed seeds and it prevents them from popping up. Now don't worry, I'm not gonna go all Bill Nye the Science Guy on you guys. Have you ever wondered why you pull up to some of these fancy shopping centers? Maybe you're on a night on the town with your wife, you're getting some surf and turf from the local Red Lobster. Fancy, I see you guys. You take a look at their grass, you're instantly hit with lawn envy. Why? Because there's not one damn single weed in that grass. And you're wondering how do they do it? The answer is simple, my friends. They apply a pre-emergent. And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go. <laughs> So now that we know that pre-emergence are that secret sauce that will give you that weed-free lawn, when's the best time to apply? Well, it's going to be early spring and fall. Whenever the soil temperatures hit 50 to 55 degrees, that's going to be the best time to put it down because that's when most of the weed seeds are going to start popping up. So right now it's the end of March, I'm in Chicago and my soil temperatures are hitting that 50 degree mark now. So right now is going to be a perfect time for me to apply. But hey, if you don't know what your soil temperatures are, you can always use a food thermometer to measure it in the ground and see exactly what the temperature is. Or if you don't feel like doing that, you can go online to greencastonline.com. You could just plug in your zip code and it'll tell you exactly what your current soil temperatures are. And it'll give you a five year average of what the soil temperatures are. Or worst case scenario, if you don't want to do that, anytime that your temperatures hit like 55 degrees outside for three consecutive days in a row, then you're gonna know it's a good time to apply your pre-emergent. So you're probably wondering, is this gonna take care of all the weeds in my lawn? Prodiamine is labeled to kill crabgrass, spurge, chickweed, annual bluegrass, and a whole bunch of other type of weeds. But in my situation, after I apply prodiamine, I virtually had a weed-free lawn. And I always had issues with dandelions and clover and a whole bunch of other things, and it literally took care of all of it. But alas, what if you're watching this video and that window is already passed and you're too late? Don't worry about it, you could still apply a pre-emergent to your lawn. You might not get as good coverage on the weeds, but hey, even if you're able to prevent 50 to 75% of the weeds, I still call that a win. So the pre-emergent we're gonna be applying today is called Prodiamine, and this is it right here. You're probably wondering why it's in a Ziploc bag. Well, I bought this a few years ago and they used to only offer it in these big gallon jugs that I would never use all that. So I ended up buying a jug and splitting it with my parents and my friends. Uh, but I don't know if you guys know Alan Hayne, you probably do if you're watching me, the lawn care nut. On his website, Yard Mastery, they just started offering five ounce containers of this stuff that you can get. And I think that's a perfect amount for a size long like mine. So I highly recommend you check it out if you don't want to go spending all this money on a big container. So the Lawn Care Nut recommends that you mix 5.2 grams of this stuff per gallon of water per thousand square feet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to mix it up and we're going to spray it in the backyard. Attention safety sallies and PPE police. Don't you dare even think about applying this stuff if you don't have long sleeves, gloves, pants, shoes, and socks. Thank you. So a few things I want you guys to know, Prodiamine doesn't take care of weeds that have already sprouted. It only takes care of weeds before they sprout. Remember, like we said earlier, 
It's all about having a good offense. Also, you can't use this product if you plan on seeding your lawn or overseeding your lawn, as it could affect the germination rates of the new baby grass plant. If you plan on seeding your lawn and you're looking for some good weed control, I recommend using Tenacity. I made a video that you guys could check out where I applied Tenacity at seeding and I had awesome results. Okay, so the hardest part about taking care of weeds is actually starting the process. So now that I showed you what you need to do and how to do it, I want you guys to commit to me and everyone else watching this video that you will take care of your weed situation. I believe in you guys.